Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach to this video. I'm going to tell you 13 ways that you can commit career suicide. There are a lot of people out there who want to be successful. They want to make money, they want to have you know, big, illustrious careers, they want to get better titles and better jobs. But for those of you out there who don't want that, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. Number one, you want to make sure that you isolate. You want to make sure that you stay in your safe little bubble. You never want to leave your studio. You never want to go to conferences. You never want to get out there and talk to people. You don't want to have to fight that social anxiety you might have. You want to make sure that you stay isolated. Number two, be elitist. You want to make sure you're absolutely elitist, that you make sure that everyone understands that they are below you, that your you-know-what doesn't stink. You are the absolute best designer, best creative professional, best entrepreneur in the world, and they should be honored just to talk to you. Number three is don't seek any continuing education because you already know everything. What you know is going to get you through the rest of your life. You don't need to up your skills. Everything that you need is what you already know, what you got when you were in school. So make sure that you don't take any additional courses. You don't take any tutorials. You don't watch any videos. You don't improve that skill level because you want to make sure that you put the cap on what you know. Number four is you don't want to network. No matter what you do, you don't want to meet new people. You don't want to make new connections. You don't want to establish new partnerships. You don't want to go to conferences and get to know people because then you have to ask them questions. They have to ask you questions. You have to be open and honest, and you don't want that to happen. So make sure you keep your network as small and as tight as possible. Just you, if that's even possible. Number five is don't build partnerships. Make sure that you don't build any cross-functional, any team building, any level of partnership that's outside of your particular skill set. If you're a designer, that's all you will ever need to do. Those are all the clients you will ever need to have. You will never need to know anybody who does something other than what you do. You're not going to need no photographers. You're not going to need to know stylists. You're not going to need to know copywriters. You just want to focus on only what you do, and that's it. No networking, no growing cross-functional partnerships. Number six is don't communicate. Make sure that no one knows what's going on with you at any point in time. You don't want your clients to know where you are with that project. You don't want any of your partners or, or, or people that you haven't networked with to know anything that's going on about you. You want to make sure that you isolate and keep it small and don't communicate. Number seven is you want to make sure that you don't build a personal brand. If you work for a company, that company is going to be loyal to you forever. That company is going to take care of you till the end of your life, and then they're going to give you a pension, and you're going to be sitting pretty forever. You will be taken care of. That job cares more about you than anything else. You want to make sure that you don't build a personal brand. You don't build a presence outside of the job that you have because you're not going to need it. Number eight is don't produce any content because no one wants to know what you think. No one ever is going to think that you're an expert and you have nothing to share of value to anybody else. Any writing, any infographics, any audio, any video, any content, any design, you want to keep it close to the vest. You don't need to share with anybody else. You don't need to produce any content. Number nine is don't seek inspiration because everything you know, everything that's inside of your head right now is all you're going to need to be creative for the rest of your life. Number 10 is you don't want to experiment and you don't want to take any risks. You don't want to take any risks in your career. You don't want to take any risks in your relationships. You don't want to take risks when you're designing or when you're doing anything creative. You don't want to take any risks or do any new things. Number 11 is you want to make sure that you don't have any opinions. You want to make sure that you don't take a stand on anything. You don't have a point of view about anything because there's that old saying, the tallest blade of grass is the first blade of grass to get chopped off. By not having an opinion, you're going to stay safe. Number 12 is don't push out of your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the safe space. Your comfort zone is exactly where no one can touch you. You're not going to have to learn anything new. You're not going to have to do anything scary. You're not going to have to take on any new challenges. You want to stay safe and cozy inside of your own comfort zone. And finally, you want to never rest. You want to hustle, hustle, hustle. You want to work 120 hour weeks. You want to never give yourself a break because that is the best way to burn out. And burnout is the best way to commit career suicide. 
So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on 13 ways to commit career suicide. And if you did, please hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out and visit me at philipvandusen.com. I'd love to help you take your business to the next level. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.